This is code.org. Let's see. Make it fit. The food is way too... It is? Oh, it is. To fit it on the plate. Use your knowledge of Sprite properties to make it fit. I just want to eat it. That was me eating. Uh, do this. Run the program to see how big it... Yep, got it. Use your Sprite properties to scale all the food sprites down so they fit on the plate. All right, so what property could we use? We want it to look like that. Well, let's go over to Sprites. And to change the size, we need to use dot .scale. So we want to make sure to do this before draw sprites because this is where the sprites actually get drawn. We could do it all right above it, right? I could put them right here. I'm going to put them under each set animation to kind of keep all the sprite details together. So we don't have a sprite. We have fries, right? We have a variable fries. We have a variable burger. So let's start with the fries. Fries. And I'm going to do, I'm really not sure, 0 0.5 for the fries. And let me drag out scale for burger and let's do burger dot scale 0 0.5 okay and dessert is dessert watermelon that's not sugary enough i'm just saying um let me drag this out and again you want to make sure it's above draw sprites dessert is going to be i'm starting at a half i have no idea but let's start there Okay, so obviously that is too small for all of them. Yeah, I'm guessing maybe 0.6. I'm going to try 0 0.6. And the great thing about code is you can be wrong a bunch. There's always another time you can run it. Boom, boom, that's touching that. I think the fries might be a little bigger than mine. Yes, they are. Okay. But my burger's right because I can tell by the edge of it. So, fry scale 0.7. Oops. I would always put zero in front. Yeah. Boom. Tricky. Especially with the fries being a little bit different of a size. Let me. Did we get the watermelon perfectly? Yes, we did. Champion.